ton of extra straws lying around and you never bothered to use them for drinking, here's some neat things you can do. These tips also work for reusable silicone straws. They make great cat toys. Right, sweetie? To prevent necklaces from tangling while you travel, just thread the chain through the straw. Ta-da! No, sweetie. To hold strawberries, run the straw through the center of the strawberry. Eee! Them to vacuum seal your food. To label electric cords, simply cut off a piece of the straw, then cut it in half, and then attach it to the cord. To unclog condiments like ketchup, place the straw all the way down to the bottom, shake it up, and then pour. To support flowers that are starting to slump, thread the stem through the straw to keep it more upright. You? The average American weighs 25 pounds of plastic wrap alone every year. Let's make a dent with reusable beeswax wraps. You can buy these in the store, but they're super cheap and easy to make on your own. You can wash them with hot water, reuse again and again and again, and get rid of that plastic. Start with 100% cotton, cut into squares or rectangles, and put on silicone lined baking sheets. Grab some beeswax. I got this one from the Austin Farmer's Market. You can also get it on Amazon. Sprinkle on one side of the cotton, make sure it's nice and covered, and then pop it in the oven at 200 degrees for about five 
five minutes. Take it out, flip it over, sprinkle the other side, and then pop it back in the oven for another five minutes. Sometimes the wax doesn't get all the way to the edges, so you can sprinkle a little bit more on, pop in the oven as needed, hang dry for two minutes, and just like that, you're ready to go. These can be used on anything. They will fold together by the heat of your hands. It'll melt the beeswax just a little bit, and you're good to go. Say goodbye to plastic, people. This is what's up. Trust me, if you make this simple lip balm, you'll never have to buy a ready-made one again. All you need is a wax, shea butter, and an oil of your choice. I'm using avocado. Now this is a bain marie and then you can pour this into a cardboard tube or reuse an old tin. Add some vitamin E if you want to keep the balm fresh for longer. Now pour it, pop it in the freezer and then try it. You'll be surprised. One thing I don't buy anymore since going zero waste. Rubber bands. I just take my old t-shirts, cut them up, and make my own. Standard rubber bands are extremely harmful for the environment and inherently very easy to lose. By using my old t-shirts, I can ensure that I'm taking reduce, reuse, and repurpose to a whole new level. A beginner's guide to zero waste. Step one, assess your waste. Determine which areas of your life produce the most waste. Is it your groceries, maybe your bath products? Step two, choose one area to get started with. I started with my bath products, switching out things like this for this and this for this. Step three, find your local refill station. This is a place where you can refill most products without the packaging waste. Go to zerowastehome.com, go to the bulk finder, type in your zip code and check out the stores in your area. Step four, dispose properly. Research the proper ways to either donate, recycle or compost. Step five, Remember, it's about progress, not perfection. Going zero waste doesn't happen overnight, but every step forward is a win. Day three of upcycling our plastics. So these were packaged around tea light candles, but I thought it would be nice to use them as molds. So I'm adding equal parts beeswax pellets and shea butter into a double boiler and melting that until it's combined. Then choose your essential oils. I'm going for like a lavender lemon and I had about 10 drops in their total. I actually wish I did a few more. Then I stirred it together, poured it in my molds and once they were full, I popped it in the refrigerator for about two hours. And now I have a nifty mold for DIY lotion bars. Okay, if you have these, like these little fruit things with the holes in the bottom, you're gonna wanna stop throwing these away. Here's why, whenever you open them up, those little holes at the bottom, if you have things like ribbon, you wanna be more organized, you can thread them through the bottom. And they fit perfectly. My mom likes to craft, and I feel like this is the best way I've found to organize it. So, now you can see they perfectly, and I mean perfectly fill that up, and you can just pull them out and cut them. You don't lose your spot. This used to have tomatoes in it. I use doggy, doggy bags. Just pull them out. It's, it's amazing. Let's take this apple and make some apple cider vinegar. Of course, start out by eating your apple until you are to the core. Then grab a lidded jar, your food scraps, and plop those in. Now go ahead and dissolve two tablespoons of sugar into two cups of water, and then pour that mixture over your food scraps. As I eat my other apples, I will add them to the mixture as well. Now store for about three weeks and you're done. I don't buy deodorant anymore because I make my own. Here's my five ingredients natural deodorant recipe. You'll need two tablespoons of unrefined shea butter, one teaspoon of coconut oil, melt this together and then add three tablespoons of arrowroot powder or cornstarch and half teaspoon of baking soda. Mix really well until there are no clumps left and then add up to 15 drops of your favorite essential oil. Mix well and then pour into a tin. This recipe makes about 50 grams. Put in the freezer for about an hour to solidify and you're left with this super creamy all-natural deodorant which will keep you dry and moisturized. Do you also DIY your own deodorant? Let me know in the comments below.